If you want to buy stocks on the Kenyan stock market, that is the Nairobi Securities Exchange, your go-to trading platform is AIB DigiTrader. Good news, both the mobile app and the web platform have been upgraded with some amazing new features. Continue watching for a comprehensive tutorial on the AIB DigiTrader web platform. The tutorial is split into many sections. Feel free to skip back and forth between the different sections. In the first section of this tutorial, we will go through the online platform and how to use all the different awesome features. In the second section, we will go through how to trade online step by step. And finally, we will go through all the different reports available for use on the platform. When you log in for the first time, the default dashboard presents five preloaded widgets or features currently appearing as blank. These specific widgets or features include my watch list, market depth, a charts feature, today's trades, and upon scrolling down, order status. We'll explain what each of these mean in the course of the tutorial. You can tailor your dashboard to fit your needs by adding or removing features, either through deleting the different widgets or by clicking on the plus sign on the bottom right through which you can add a feature onto your dashboard. Additionally, you have the option to create a new dashboard from scratch. When creating a new dashboard, you can name it and provide a description. Before returning to the default dashboard and its five pre-selected features, let's explore each feature on the trading platform using this blank dashboard. In total, there are 12 features, including two that are specific to charts and 10 presented in table view. Firstly, we have the market watch, also known as my watch list. This feature allows you to see all the stocks listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. You can choose to view all stocks or manually scroll through the list and click on your stocks of interest. Once selected, these stocks will populate on your watch list. This enables you to access more detailed information about these stocks and even execute buy or sell orders directly from this feature. Stocks in the watch list are identified by short codes instead of their full names. If you find it challenging to determine the stock based on the short code, you can refer to the list in the description of this video, which provides the full names of all the stocks along with their corresponding short codes. This feature provides additional data about the stocks in your watch list, including the last traded price, last traded quantity, bid quantity and price, offer quantity and price, and five more data points for each of these stocks. All this data pertains to the current trading day. Now let's go through the meaning of each of these data points. Last traded price. This is the most recent price at which a specific stock was bought or sold in the market. For example, the latest Bamburi stock which was traded in the market was traded at 36 shillings and 50 cents. Last quantity is the most recent quantity of the stock that was traded. Bid quantity is the total number of stocks that investors are currently willing to purchase of Bamburi in the market. It indicates the current demand of Bamburi stocks. Bid price is the highest amount investors are willing to pay for Bamburi at this given moment. Offer price and quantity are the exact opposite of bid quantity and bid price. Offer quantity is the total number of stocks that investors are currently willing to sell in the market of Bamburi. It indicates the current supply. Offer price is the lowest amount investors are willing to accept when selling their Bamburi stocks at this given moment. Day open, low and high is the opening price of the stock for the day, the lowest price it has reached today and the highest price it has reached today. Previous close is the price the stock closed on the previous trading day, meaning the Bamburi stock price closed at 35 shillings and 35 cents yesterday. Market capitalization 
is the total value of Bamburi's stocks in the stock market. This is calculated by multiplying the current Bamburi market price by the total number of Bamburi shares in the market. All these elements are valuable for an investor to guide on the cost, demand, supply, and price movements of a particular stock on any given day. The market depth feature offers real-time insights into the bid and offer prices of a specific stock. That is the current demand and supply for that stock in the market. To access this information for a particular stock, click on script and select a stock from your watch list. Equity simply means that you're operating in the equity or stock market and the normal odd option under instrument type is not functional. So please disregard for now. You can also choose a stock by clicking on it in the watch list. Remember from the watch list that the bid quantity is the total number of stocks that investors are currently willing to purchase of Bamburi in the market. The market depth feature then gives more information on this demand. For example, there is demand for 2,400 stocks at a price of 35 shillings and 5 cents. There is also demand in the market for 600 Bamburi stocks at 35 shillings and the list goes on. This means that there are different individuals who are willing to buy this number of Bamburi stocks at these different prices. On the right side is offer price and offer quantity. As we stated before, as bid refers to demand, offer refers to supply. This means that there are 5,800 Bamburi stocks on supply at this price, another 5,800 Bamburi stocks on supply at this price, and the list goes on. This will help you as an investor to gauge the demand and supply in the market and the different demand and supply prices as you make your trades. Notice you have the option to buy or sell directly from the market depth function. The term split helps with evaluating market demand and market supply even further. It indicates the number of orders contributing to the total quantity demanded or supplied. For example, here we see there is one split for 2,400 Bamburi stocks at this price. That means that there is one order for 2,400 Bamburi stocks at 35 shillings and 5 cents. Here, there are two orders for 600 Bamburi stocks at 35 shillings. Split provides insight into the distribution of market interest in a particular stock. Giving a hypothetical example, you might see a bid quantity for 100,000 stocks, but this comes with only one split. That means that there is only one order that encompasses 100,000 stocks. In another case, you might see the same 100,000 stocks demanded for another company, but there's a split of 500. That means that that 100,000 stocks demand is spread across 500 orders. That will show you that there is more interest in the market in the second company than in the first company. Moving on to the next feature, sector statistics. This feature presents a list of all the sectors in the stock market, along with information on the trades conducted within each sector on this day. The volume indicates the total number of stocks that have been traded within this sector today. While turnover signifies the amount of money exchanged during these transactions. Foreign buys indicates the proportion of turnover attributed to investments made by foreign investors. This information can assist in gauging the level of activity or investor interest within different sectors in the market, including from foreigners. The fifth feature for investors is market statistics. This feature provides an overview of the entire stock market movement on this day, including the number of trades, volume, turnover, and a breakdown of foreign versus local demand. Now, let's explore the market trades feature. The market trades feature continuously updates with the trades being executed in the market at the moment. 
At the top of the list are the latest trades. For example, 2,100 scan group stocks have just been traded at 10.38 a.m. Refresh to keep updating and seeing the trades being made in real time in the market. You can utilize this feature to promptly track the execution of your trades as they will appear here immediately upon execution. But don't forget, your trades are also reflected in your statement report, a topic we will delve into later when exploring the available reports on the platform. Introducing the sixth feature, Market News. While this feature is still in progress, once completed, you will be able to choose specific dates to access news. It will then display any significant news that occurred within that selected time frame. At this point, your dashboard may be feeling a little full. You can easily create a new dashboard or delete various widgets to create space for more features. Next is the chart function. This is a key function that effectively summarizes stock movements over time. Select a stock by clicking on script or choose one from your watch list. This function allows you to visually track the stock price of any particular stock through a graph with options ranging from a one month movement to a three month movement all the way to a one year overview. Additionally, an upcoming feature will enable viewing the stock's all time movement since its listing on exchange. For now, you can view the stock's movement from one day to one year. It's important to confirm the direction the chart reads from. In this case, we have the earlier dates on the right and the later dates on the left. It's worth noting that you can duplicate any or all of these functions by clicking on the plus sign. For instance, you can simultaneously evaluate two or more different stock price movements over time. This feature is very important. For example, if you are an investor looking for a trend in the movement of a stock price over time. Moving on to the gainers, losers or movers feature. This provides a snapshot of the stocks that have experienced the most significant gains, losses or movements during the day. For instance, here it displays the top five stocks that have gained the most today along with their current prices and the percentage change from their previous price. If you click on losers, you will see the same information for the top five stocks that have lost the most today. And with movers, you will see the top five stocks that have been traded in the highest volumes today. One of the final four features is order status. This provides an overview of all your orders for the day. You can expand the widget to view comprehensive information. It displays all the orders you have put in today, whether you wanted to buy or sell a stock, along with the details of the order, including importantly, the order status, indicating whether your buy or sell order is still pending in the market or has already been executed. At the moment, this feature is blank as no orders have been made today. The next account status feature is portfolio valuation. This feature displays your net worth. Your net worth is the total value of the stocks you own and any cash balance in your account. By hovering over the pie chart, you can observe the breakdown of the different stocks you have invested in and the respective value of those stocks. Clicking on detailed view will show you the split in your net worth between the value of the stocks you own and the cash balance in your account. On the right side, you can find a comprehensive breakdown of the stocks you own, including details on whether you are currently making a profit or experiencing a loss from your trades. You can download this information in CSV, Excel, or PDF format. Finally, we have today's position and today's trade. Today's position shows you the position of all the trades that you have made today. Here would be listed the stocks that you have traded today. And here would be listed the quantity that has executed in the market and the value of what you have traded in the market. The buy order shows the quantity of buy orders you've put into the market and the value of those orders. 
the sell order shows the quantity of sell orders you are putting to the market and the value of those orders. Buy executed quantity and buy executed value simply shows you out of the buy orders that you have put in, how much of that order has already been executed in the market. And the same goes for sell executed quantity and sell executed value. And finally, out of the awesome new features on the upgraded AIB DigiTrader platform, we have today's trades. Again, this simply gives you more information on the trades you have made today. The exchange order number, the execution ID, your client code, your name, and the name of the stock. Now that we are done with going through step-by-step -step the different features on this trading platform, let's go through how to buy and sell your stocks. To do this, I've gone back to my default dashboard where I have my watch list and market depth, the two features through which I can make a trade. Before initiating any trade, confirm that you have sufficient cash in your account. You can check your available funds by navigating to available funds, where you can view the free cash available for trading in your account. In case you lack sufficient funds, click on fund transfer and select deposit. You can add money to your account for trading either through direct M-Pesa transactions through the platform or via a bank transfer. Next, return to your preferred dashboard. In my watch list, navigate to the specific stock that you are interested in and click on the buy option. Normal means that you intend to buy more than 100 stocks and odd refers to quantities less than 100. Ensure that you observe the stock that you are purchasing. Input the desired quantity and then choose the order type. Here, limit indicates that I will specify my own price for the stock. When trading, I want to choose my own price based on what I've seen in the market for the stock. And the order will only be executed at this price. In this case, I would come to price and type in whatever price I intend to put for that stock. Market means I want the order to execute immediately at the current best market price. That means I will not be able to choose my price, but once I click buy, my order will execute immediately at the current best market price. Please be aware that the market best price does not necessarily equate to the lowest purchase price or the highest selling price you could possibly get. Sometimes opting for a limit order wherein you set your own price can result in you securing a substantially lower buying price or a substantially higher selling price, even if it may require you to wait as your order is pending for some time in the market. This may be better in some cases than merely selecting the best market price available in real time. Market to limit means the stocks will initially execute at the best market price. However, if the entire order cannot be fulfilled at my chosen quantity, it will switch to a limit order requiring me to specify a price for the remaining quantity. To keep things simple, I'll choose to execute at the best available market price. In this case, because it will execute immediately in the market, I do not need to choose a validity date because my order will not remain pending in the market at any point. For trading mode, I will choose delivery if I intend to hold on to these stocks for more than one day. If I intend to sell them the same trading day, I will choose intraday. And then I click on buy. I will then review the order, which tells me that at the best market price, the total amount of money I will need to buy 100 stocks of Bamburi is 3,781 shillings and 38 cents. If I have this money in my account, I will then click on confirm. And that concludes our example. In this instance, you've purchased 100 stocks of Bamburi cement. To check the status of the trade, such as whether it is pending or already executed, However, in this case, as it's a market order, it will be executed. But if you had chosen it as a limit order, you can navigate to order status. Order status will give you a breakdown of the trade you have just made. 
Now, in this final part of the tutorial, let's turn our attention to the reports available on the trading platform for investors. We offer six reports, each providing different information on your account. For statement, it shows you within a certain date range that you will select, you can view details of any payments you've made or any money you have received into your account. Portfolio valuation. This displays your net worth, which is the total value of the stocks you own and any cash balance in your account. Stock holding. This shows the quantity of the number of stocks of various companies that you own. Contract. When you make a trade, you have basically entered a contract. This shows the details of the different trades that you have made or the different contracts you have entered within a specific date range that you will select. Order report. Within the date range that you will set, you can view all the orders you made during that time and different details about them. Today's position. This shows your trades for the day, including quantity and their value. Thank you for watching and all the best with trading using the AIB DigiTrader awesome web platform. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments or reach out to us using the email on the screen.